this has far exceeded probably the expectations of most people and most analysts in the in the industry. Um, uh, absolutely, Ohio, we expect it to be a, a large market um, and probably a number two or number three in the uh, in the United States. Uh, so we did expect it would be traffic, but that 1.1 billion is a pretty big number for us, and uh, and I'm glad to see that a, a good portion of that's actually coming into uh, our city here in Cincinnati. So West coming out of the gate the first month, uh, the only state that did better in the first period of time was New York, and New York is a massive market, right? Uh, we still expect, though, that Ohio is going to be in a two or a three spot nationwide. Uh, it's just a big sports betting uh, uh, state, and everyone seems to be really enjoying uh, the activity, and uh, we hope it continues that way, and, and don't see any reason why it shouldn't. So it, as far as where the state is actually implementing those taxes when they come in, that's obviously up to the legislature to determine where they're going to place those pieces. Uh, this is just one more stream of revenue to generate those taxes, though. So as of right now, we have a 10% tax base on our sports book. Um, and so everything that we're bringing in, you think of a $1.1 billion. Now, at the end of the day, we obviously have payouts, right? So we have that piece, what is actually left in the coffers after all said and done. Uh, it still generated millions of dollars for the, for the state. Um, so that's great. Great for the state, it's great for the city, it's great for all the infrastructure because that's where a good portion of money goes as well. Uh, so it nothing but positives from Sportsbook. You know, you can just take it from a retail perspective and when you look at it, we were north of $400 million or four, $4 million coming into what was our overall sports book here in the retail side. So $3.5 million of that was actually paid out. So we actually ended up, and all of that's all listed on the websites, right? So you can go in and look and see what each respective uh, provider was able to do. Um, but it's still, it's a massive portion of revenue for us and great, great vertical stream for us. Yeah, you know, as a transplant to this area, I didn't realize exactly how much sports meant to this state and specifically to this region. Um, but with all, all of the activities and all of the sports teams that we have in this city or, and it also in this state, uh, it, it certainly is something that resonates with the majority of the uh, of the persons that live here. Um, and we even coming across the border from, uh, from I say across the border, over in our northern Kentucky area and whatnot, um, uh, basketball is a massive portion of that. And actually, if you look at what our bets are on, we have the third best bets that we have are actually on NCAA basketball. So, you know, of all the stuff that we thought we would be looking at, it, uh, the NFL obviously is a big provider of, uh, of our revenues. Uh, we did about 45% of the, uh, the wagers on there. So what that tells us, though, is that this thing has legs. It wasn't just about NFL. There's a lot more opportunity for uh, uh, for the betting to continue uh, and I think that we should see continued success with this in the state it, it really does run the gamut from what somebody's willing to bet yes we do have five dollar bets but we got thousands of dollar bets right and so it just depends on what someone's uh, wallet is and uh, what they're comfortable with um, what we have found though at our property is that we're seeing a lot more people taking bigger risks so they're doing a lot more parlay bets as opposed to necessarily just straight bets um, which means they're, they're betting on multiple outcomes at the same time um, those obviously have great uh, rewards, but they're higher risk, right? So uh, it is interesting to see how many parlays are actually occurring in our market versus what is happening in others. It seems like we just have people that want to, they want to bet on everything, which is, uh, which is great. And uh, it's, it's just fun. It's a way to be a part of the action. Um, you know, we were talking earlier about when you have a vested interest in a game, it's a different experience, right? And so people put money down on the games and now they're looking at it differently. And it's just, it's fun, it's excitement. You know, it adds the activity and, and the excitement to the floor. It's, it's really a positive for us. You know, this is still a new industry in this state, right? So there's a lot of education that has to occur. There's going to be a lot of people that are coming after the exact same customers. Um, we want the this as a, a facet of our gaming and in our entertainment industry to grow. Um, and that means we're gonna have competition and we like competition. Competition. We thrive on that, right? Um, I do think that we're providing probably the best product that is out there right now. Uh, and if you and we have the same digital platforms as you think about with a FanDuel or a DraftKings, um, and which is certainly competitive for us. And we we did tremendously well with that over the uh, the course of January. Um, but absolutely, we we accept the competition and we uh, take the challenge.